Okay, uh, blob introduction. I haven't looked at this in a couple weeks. Okay, what is going on here? So we've got uh, some example movies, and uh, we're going to use these movies instead of actually using live camera because right. it's, it's easier to demonstrate. Um, so this is why JIT movie is here. Typically with blob tracking, you're not going to use a movie. You're going to use a like live a camera or, or, yeah, mm -hmm. like a, or a connect or something like that. So the movie goes into a JIT matrix, uh, 4, char, 640 by 360. Um, so this is going to show the native movie. So let's just read in uh, one yellow and turn it on. There we go. So we've got this uh, triangle sort of rotating. Where This is a cut up piece of sticky note. What do you call it? Post it. And just in a, in a shape. I just picked a shape. It's, it's not important that it's a triangle. It's just a shape. Uh, and then we're going from there into RGB to Luma, taking the color away and jit.op uh, greater than, so this is a thresholding, anything that's greater than 80 is going to become pure white and everything else is going to become pure black. So um, that's fine. This is already a very idealized image here. It's already deep black with a bright thing on it. So, right. um, But we've got it into this pure black and white format. Um, so that's good. This white thing uh, is a blob. That's what we say. When we, when we call this blob tracking, what we're tracking is white uh, white areas of pixels that are all touching each other. So right. any any shape, it doesn't matter what shape it is, as long as all the white pixels are touching each other, that's considered a blob. It could be and your cat. You it know. could be a cat. It could be anything, really. <laughs> it's always uh, a cat for could, me. Frankly, it could be a single pixel. It could be a, a single, single pixel. pixel is technically a blob. Pretty rare that you want to track a single pixel. That's not usually something you want to do. All right, so we're, we have a blob here. This is black and white image, uh, one plane matrix. And um, we send it over here into this, everything in this yellow thing here is for finding and labeling the blobs. Okay, so you can have multiple blobs. In this case, we only have one blob. Um, the following movies will have several, but we have one blob here, and it goes into this object called CVJIT label. And um, mode one, chair mode one, whatever, we'll talk about that. But uh, it goes in here, and then what is happening is label is actually uh, differentiating the different blobs and identifying them. And the way it identifies them is, it actually gives each blob a separate RGB or a separate pixel value. Mm -hmm. So one blob, it's going to make all the color 255. The next blob, it's going to make all the color 254. And the next blob, it's going to make all the color 253. Mm -hmm. That's how it labels these things. Um, so we take the image out of CVJIT label and we go into this other object called CVJIT blob centroids. The centroid is like the center mass. It's the center point of that blob. And that's really useful. So um, blob centroids, we're going to use jit.iter, because you could have multiple blobs in here. So iter just takes and um, iterates through all the different blobs that are in there and gives you the, um, the x, y, and size of all of the different items. We only have one in here, so it's just iterating across one thing. So it's telling us where the centroid of that one blob is. And the centroid is going to be an x coordinate and a y coordinate. So Remember, zero, zero is up in the, up in the upper left-hand corner. So these are the pixel values of the centroid of this rotating thing. And we're drawing this target on top of, we're, we're going all the way back to the original video image and we're drawing the targets on top of the original video image. Uh, even though we're using this black and white version, so like if we were to take this and erase this and uh, draw Ooh, it on top that's of that. Fun. <laughs> there we go. So we could draw it on top of the, the white blob or you can draw it right on top of the original source video. Okay, now what happens, this is a single blob. Now we could load up the, uh, the version that has three blobs. And the cool thing about this technique is it doesn't really matter how many blobs you have. It's gonna be able to tell you the centroid of all of the individual identifiable blobs in the image. And you can see right here, it is just coloring, the, the CVJIT label is just coloring the different blobs with different grayscale values. That's how it identifies them. Um, now you could say, which blob do you want to show? I only want to show uh, blob one, blob two, blob three. And that's, I, it's isolating those by, by actually doing a jit.op. So it's only going to show anything that where the uh, pixels are an exact value of one, two, or three. Um, so then in the blue box where it's tracking, uh -huh. um, those values that it's spitting out, are they in relationship to one particular blob or, you no, know, uh, what, what iter is going to do is it's going to iterate across the total number 
of blobs that it can identify, and it's going to, uh, for every frame of video, it's going to output, in this case, three different uh, sets of coordinates. Mm -hmm. um, and it draws all three of those in between frames and then it updates the frame when the new video frame comes in. So, so hypothetically if you were to have say a fourth blob, would you have to add another um, variable to that unpack to give it, to be able to get that? No, because unpack okay. is just unpacking what gets iterated each time through. So it's x, y, and then size. Size just means the, the number of pixels in the blob. This represents the number of pixels in that blob. Okay. <clears throat> That's why these targets are all different, um, different sizes. All right, let's keep going. Yeah. That's three things. Here's two things. Uh, here's a flashlight. Okay, so I've got this. I shined a flashlight on the wall. What is shown? I shone a flashlight. I, don't know. I shined a flashlight on the wall, um, and filmed that. And uh, with a little bit of image prep, uh, just using RGB to Luma, and then we're. we're Again, we're just doing a threshold, so I can change what the threshold amount is. So let's say I want a threshold there. That looks pretty good. Um, this is a beautiful blob, really nice. That's so nice. Um, now this is weird. Okay, so like, what's going on? Uh, where did the flashlight go? Okay, there it is. You can see all these little fuzz. There's like little. There's tons of blobs being tracked here. There's like hundreds of blobs coming out. Like, not hundreds. Okay, there's like 36, somewhere between 36 and 50. And there's 10 to 50 blobs because this fuzz around the image is actually being tracked as blobs. So what I have to do is I have to tell CVJIT label, I want a minimum blob size. So mm -hmm. ignore all blobs that are smaller than a few pixels wide. So let's just say, let's just do that. Now we have one blob. So there's only one blob that is at least 99 pixels big. Um, and that's this main centroid or this main you know object that this flashlight dot. So now we're only tracking one thing, and uh, it's just doing a perfect job tracking this flashlight on the wall. So yeah. I don't know if your mind is expanding of what things you could do with this by tracking with a single webcam, tracking what's on, mm -hmm. you know, a fl using a flashlight on the wall. You could make music. You could use a projector to, I don't know, you could do all kinds of stuff. But the ability to track uh, in real time what's happening, where this, where you're shining the flashlight is pretty interesting. You could Im you immediately really start is. thinking of ideas you could do with that. All right, um, flashlight two, what is this? Just a, sep just a slightly different, dimmer version of the uh, flashlight thing. So also being tracked very reliably, very, very easy to track. And it's computationally not that expensive to track these things. So I think this is going long, so let's yep. move on. We'll go to the next video here. Seven minutes, that's not bad. All right, well, okay, we have a second then. Hold on. What am I missing? What's what needs to be explained here? Like what? I don't know. Did I go too fast? I feel like you 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 got there. Okay. All right. Well, there's other stuff. Yeah. 